Excuse me, can you call a waiter for me? I'm the waiter, miss. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's nice to see you again. I hope everything is well. It's me, Jack. And as usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from a conversation in a real life story video. Today's real life story is about a blind customer whose wallet was stolen in a restaurant. Before the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is to be on good terms with someone. Next are clumsy and to uncover. We will continue with to take advantage of and to hold somebody accountable for something. The final word is to drag something out. Okay, let's watch the video. Excuse me, can you call a waiter for me? I'm the waiter, miss. Oh, that's great, because nobody has come to my table and I'm starving. Sorry, I can take your order. Okay, I'll have a spinach omelet and a Caesar salad, please. Something to drink for you? Coffee, please. Sugars, cream? Black. Okay, that's a spinach omelet. Salad, black coffee, and dessert on the house for the beautiful lady. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you. Mark, what are you doing? Oh, what's going on? Never mind. It's just a colleague of mine. She and I aren't on good terms. Is something wrong? It's all right, miss. I have your order, and I'll get it going right now. Hey, Laura, what's wrong? What are you doing, Mark? What are you talking about? i just doing my job. Stop playing dumb, you know what I mean? I mean, this, I saw the whole thing. Okay. Laura, I just, I just need money, and that woman is my chance to make some... Blind woman? Unbelievable, how could you do that? Laura, quiet. Yes, she's blind, but not poor. You know, there is an inspection this week. Do you want this to come up somehow? How? I could spend the whole day right in front of her. And she wouldn't know. It doesn't give you a right to do that to steal from her. You need to give back what you stole right now. Okay, Laura. You're right. I, I can't. I can't do this. I'm scared. Look, I'm nervous and I'm going to ruin it for sure. And I'm going to get into trouble. You know, Laura, maybe you could sneak it to her? Please. All right, I'll help you. But only because this is only the right thing to do. I know. Hi, miss. Here is your water and your black coffee. Your food will be ready soon. Thank you, but where's that waiter that served me? He was so nice to me. Oh, he's at another table. He's one of our best waiters, so he's really popular here. That's too bad. Oh, there is a wallet under your chair. Let me get it. Could it be yours? Brown, rough surface and a new model. Oh, it's definitely my wallet. Oh, I must have dropped it. How clumsy I am. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Wait, it's empty. What? Just because I'm blind, you think I won't notice that you robbed me? No, 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 miss. I just found it. It wasn't me. It was in my purse with money and cards, and now it's empty. I'm sorry, I just, I really found it, and I didn't take anything and gave it to you right away. You tell it to the police. Siri, call the police. Miss, I looked at the security cameras, but there is nothing there. Apparently, they stopped recording before you came in. I don't care. I want my money, and you better clear this up. Miss, I didn't take it. Maybe it was the customer who just left. Calm down. If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. All right, we have to look through your personal belongings. Clear. All right, you next. Now, you need to be worried. 
Because Rolay Banks' credit card, which belongs to Miss Brown, shouldn't be in your bag. What do you say now? No, that cannot be true. I was set up. You stole all the money and gave me an empty wallet. Tell them. Tell them it wasn't my fault. I don't know what she's talking about. Miss, do you have anything to say for yourself? Wait. I'm an inspector, and I am here to uncover the true attitude of the staff to the customers. I sometimes use unconventional methods to really find out what happens. What? It can't be. Taking advantage of a blind customer, really? Did you think that you could get away with it? The girl's innocent. You can let her go. You should take this young man, and I'll be happy to testify against him. No, no, I... look. Remember, Mark, you can't commit a crime and think you won't be held accountable for it, clear? Let's go. Sorry for dragging this out. Actually, I wanted to give him every chance to confess, but he didn't take it. Thank you, Laura. Do you know? I've worked in this area for ten years, and it's great to find someone with a kind and warm heart like you. Please, stay that way. Good luck. Thank you. Never mind, it's just a colleague of mine. She and I aren't on good terms. To be on good terms with someone. It means having a friendly or pleasant relationship with someone. The examples. You should always try to be on good terms with your boss. We're not on good terms and don't speak to each other much. Oh, I must have dropped it. How clumsy I am. Clumsy. It means moving or doing things in a careless way, especially so that you drop things or knock things over. The examples. A clumsy waiter spilled Coke all over her new skirt. He's very clumsy. He's always dropping things. I'm an inspector, and I am here to uncover the true attitude of the staff to the customers. To uncover. It means to discover something that had been secret or hidden. The examples. Troops uncovered a terrorist training camp. The inspectors uncovered evidence of corruption. Taking advantage of a blind customer, really? To take advantage of, it means to make use of a situation, person, etc., in such a way as to benefit one's self. The examples. He used his charm to take advantage of her kindness. He took advantage of his parents' absence and gave a party. You can't commit a crime and think you won't be held accountable for it. To hold someone accountable for something. It means to make someone responsible for what they do. The examples. I must hold you accountable for the missing money. The CEO was held accountable for the company's financial crisis. Sorry for dragging this out. To drag something out. It means to make something continue for more time than is necessary. The examples. Please don't drag out your story any longer. Get to the point. Tom's endless questions dragged the meeting out to over two hours. Well, that's it. We finished our lesson for today. I hope you find these vocabulary words very useful. If you like today's video, hit the like button. And if you want to continue to learn English on our channel, please subscribe. And then hit the bell for notifications. We always like to read your comments. See you in the next lesson.